and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Sejuani Swain, deck that I think has gotten a lot better since the um, since the new patch. Both Sejuani and Swain are really powerful cards, so we're going to be playing our list again. Now we've changed, uh, basically changed like one card since the last time that we played it, and kind of from talking earlier and everything. So we we've always we played Wolf Rider in this deck in the past. We're gonna try playing Babbling Babbling Bjerg. <laughs> that's that's what I sound like right now. Is a Babbling Bjerg. We're gonna try playing this instead of Wolf Rider, where we can use that to help ha have us uh, grab Sejuani or Leviathan, help us curve out into these things more often. It doesn't have the upside that Wolf Rider has. Like some of your very best games. <clears throat> is that on turn four, if you have the plunder turned on, you get to Wolf Rider, and then, especially if it's like on their turn, because you have Ember Maiden, and so then on their turn, you deal one damage to them, you play Wolf Rider, and then you ramp, and then turn five, you get to play a Sejuani, um, you know, that's already, like, that's like the perfects, right? So you don't have like that perfect ability anymore, but you will be a lot more consistent of like always having Sejuani, Leviathan, that kind of stuff at the top end. I want to try that instead. Um, that's basically the the one main change that we did. Added in another Death's Hand um, in here over another over like a Tusk Raider that we tried last time. But anyway, yeah, it's it's a good aggressive deck. You know, nice and efficient. Um, Culling Strike these days is pretty important against Maokai and Heimerdinger couple of champions that are, are very popular. Um, so yeah, we got some culling strikes in here. Um, then we have like just this little cheap removal spell with Blade's Edge, just kind of cut the, the mana curve down. Um, you know, it's just a nice little versatile card. Um, we can level up our <clears throat> um, Swain pretty fast with Death's Lotus or with Noxion Fervor. Those are a couple of cards that help level up really fast. Of course, both Swain and Sejuani care about you doing, dealing damage to the enemy Nexus, and so Blade's Edge does a good job of doing that also. Um, Alright, so yeah. So let, let's play some Sejuani Swain. Let's have some fun. Let's go play uh, five games over in Ranked. And here we go. Okay, Diveman says, I come from Shadowverse, where the difference between Tier 1 and Tier 2 is abysmal. Runeterra is a nice change. Yeah, and that's what we were just talking about like uh, before this is... Um, yeah, it's really nice that there's not just like, you know, a couple of best decks that you have to go craft. And if you go craft those, you'll win. And if you don't craft them, you're going to lose. That's really nice. Like, you can play... What, you, know, you, you really can just play whatever. Let's keep these three. We'll keep the odds... And find some evens. Hopefully, Crimson Disciple. Well, I mean, we did draw a couple evens. Now we just need Omen Hawk to give us a 3 4 Crimson Disciple right away. So, Swain, Sejuani, Mirror. I don't want to give them the Sejuani trigger. So, we're just blocking. Hmm. Not quite. Hey, Zephyrus. It's 5 a.m. there? Wow. The winter's claw strikes. Oh, that's a great turn two play. They hit the two drop Omen Hawk. Lucky. Lucky. Fire knows its own. So I feel like this three drops probably going to be trading with something or dying pretty quickly. I'll play the crappy one out first. Let the flames take you. I right, should have played this one, I guess. Fight or die. Uh, man, their Omen Hawk was great, hitting two drops. That is perfect. They all scream.
nothing standing. Embers and smoke. There's gonna be a lot of damage. Burn them all. That's a lot of damage. Fear the power you do not see. Um, I don't have like a great chance of winning this game. I don't feel like, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a really risky play. But it could pay off. This could pay off great if they play. Darn. They play their own Sejuani. Yeah, see, I wanted them to do that during my turn. Sure hope they do that. So this would kill my Swain and I go down to three. Alright, well we will keep Swain alive. We're going to kill their Sejuani and stay at four. Very glad they didn't just have their Sejuani challenge my Swain and then kill me. That was nice of them. Not to not to kill me. So we can go for lethal with Fear of the North Transfusion Transfusion. What are they gonna have that would stop that? They would have to have like a frostbite spell. That's probably not very likely they have a frostbite spell, right? I think we go for it. It's like certain death if it doesn't work. That game. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. Stole that game. My opponent had lethal, but we came back to win. All right, GGS. So the not attacking on turn six is that's what I wanted to do. I wanted them to play Sejuani and Frostbite my Swain, and then I play my Sejuani, Frostbite theirs, Culling Strike it, and you know attack them with those things. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's see. We're keeping our two drop. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Crimson Disciple. Oh, Crimson Disciple. That was Teemo out of Blade's Edge. Omen Hawk. Ugh, I don't really want a Blade's Edge. It'll just trigger a Sejuani. Oh well. The Winter's Claw strikes! Got 
guess I need to Blade's Edge this thing if they go straight to combat. Sorry, they didn't go straight to combat. This is not good. Eyes blazing, brightest torches. Not very good. Oh, the doors. Master, your they grow up so fast. of our top end. <laughs> two Swains, two Sejuanis, two Leviathans. We have drawn our top end. Definitely can't complain about not having top end cards. Alright, how many puff caps we got? 13. Please stop drawing those. Good. Leave no survivors. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. We're out with Swain, 0 out of 12. So, almost leveled up. Hmm. 0 out of 12, so basically leveled up. So they had another Augmented Experimenter and a Tusk Raider in hand. I think I go Leviathan pre-combat. Oh. Could, of course, just go straight to combat. We have the Fury of the North, the Transfusion. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Now, nah, we'll play our 5A Overwhelm first. Only the strong survive! Yeah, we we're, we're definitely discussing getting rid of one of the two Leviathans and playing, you know, still keeping one Wolf Rider in the deck and play one Wolf Rider and one Leviathan. Um, but ended up going with the two Leviathans. Still in, in not playing a Wolf Rider. No. Uh, I guess I guess we drew the culling strike. I wanted to Blades Edge the Teemo, but now they get to level up Teemo. All right, so we have to culling strike Teemo, which means that I can't play Leviathan this turn. Which means I will play Ruthless Raider. Hail, War get a fourth blocker. Drive them before us, Era. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Ooh, quite a collection! I'll scout ahead! Things leveled up. Counter -attack. Prove 
prove your worth. How tedious. Alright, so we do that. Um... Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I didn't even save that thing. That was dumb. <laughs> what am I doing? That was dumb. I don't know why I, would, I don't I don't know what I was thinking. Thinking like the Fury of the North. That was dumb. Alright, good last card. That was just a waste of a transfusion. I could have used... Yeah, that was just a big waste of the transfusion. So we're at 5, so this would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11, 12, and then the first one stuns, 13. Hey, Mama Man. Man, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Artillery barrage. Bow to no one. Oh, if mushrooms could talk for once, am I right? Alright, get rid of that thing. Lead for Victory awaits. It's gonna be pretty important so you don't keep frostbiting all my stuff. It was right on my tail. Mm. See right now with like the pop caps and everything, I don't actually really want to draw cards. So I was, was kinda hoping that we were out, but I guess we had one more thing. No, 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 no. Ugh. So close to killing me. I don't even know if I'm supposed to play Leviathan because we draw a Swain. I don't even want to draw it. Like, yeah, I don't think we do. Let me show you what I think I it's too do. risky. Damage wise, I'm at two. They're dead if this doesn't kill me. Yay, it doesn't kill me. Born for conquest. Leave them nothing. Ride onward. Man, so close. Yeah, almost messed that up with the transfusion. We survive. Being super unnecessary. How close were you to winning the game you lost with the spiders? Do you mean like to the to the spiders? I don't know which like which game do you mean? Like we lost three games. Um, <laughs> yeah, both both of these games I thought we were losing that we won. <laughs> both of these I thought we were gonna lose. All right, what are they playing? Fizz. Fizz. I don't think we need Culling Strike against Fizz. Could be wrong. I feel like Culling Strike will get countered, and we just want to out-aggro the Fizz deck. Oh, all three? Oh, okay. Yo, one of... Um... One of the losses was to, you know, like an all-in Fiora deck where they did have where they have Fiora on turn three, and then you know all the spells to go along with Fiora, and that that just kills my little spiders. So like, uh, 
bad luck matchup there. And, yeah, just, just the matchup. Um, then we lost, like, a similar spider deck. One that I think that we would be very favored in. Like, I think our deck's better. It would be favored in most of the time. But they just had an awesome hand. And no kills, no they, had, they were going Darius and Thresh, and they leveled up a Thresh and got Darius. And, yeah, like, they ended up winning, but... That was one that I think we'd win most of the time. And the other loss was to a Yeti deck. They had a really great Yeti hand. So, you know. Oh well. And those those last two losses, both of them both of them all four cards in my opener weren't good and I I mulligan I had to mulligan all four cards and I still didn't have that great of a hand afterwards, so that's kind of what was happening. I'll try anyone. So Babbling Bjerg would draw Sejuani or Leviathan. I don't think we need to necessarily though. I like how, you know, we already have Swain into Sejuani. I'm gonna just double spell with these extra two drops. I gotta have something to deal with my Swain. Ionia, Bilgewater, not really known for their three power things that block fearsome. Basically, just traded turns. They lost it. They lost a spell compared to me, but they also only spent four mana, and I spent five. I will play my part. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Of course, you you want to make sure to replay the same. Explain that they know about. The spirit gives to those who listen. We each hold a world within. Silent as death. Let me at him. What is gain? Let me at him. So Fervor could level up the Swain. We could do that like during combat. But again, if they have like a, if they have another Will of Ionia, that's kind of rough. We'll just play Sejuani instead. The calm before the storm. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. Taste of the action. It's still worth it, attacking those things into the lifesteal cards. Timo and Fizz are the some of the most hated champs in a league. Clear your head. Let your instinct speak. Bleh. Well, I gotta take my transfusion. 
You act, but do not see. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. They did have another Will of Ionia. That was a really, really good turn for them, definitely. Stop drawing swains, please. So you don't have any more swains for this Leviathan. So we're going to do three to this and three to that Eye of the Dragon. Keep them from making more of these lifesteal things. And kill this Eye of the Dragon. And block here. The thing is, is like if, they, if Swain's Overwhelm happens, then... Or like Swain's level up happens, which which will happen. Probably doesn't matter if they make more draglings. Like maybe Maybe I just do the three damage to them. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be blocking with this Wayne. Like maybe not, but we'll we'll save the two life. That thing's gonna block. Alright, I probably should have just killed this instead of dealing three damage to them. Well, that's a great draw. Witness strength. You can't have a third Will of Ionia, right? Okay, so that Elixir of Iron kept them alive for a little bit. They got a couple of spells in hand. One from their deck, one from the coral creatures. Hopefully it's not some kind of... Hopefully these aren't spells that do 10 damage to me. That'd be disappointing. Nice! Nice, Thorwolf. Prepare 
the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Good job. What is your what is your mage seeker luck stack look like? All right, we are three and zero. Oh. My comfort and only one way. Yeah, Leviathan drew th drew th drew us a fourth swain because we used one of the swains as the ravenous flock the champion spell so it shuffled another copy into into the, the deck and so like once we shuffle another copy into the deck then we can redraw another one so that's how we got that fourth swain back that might was a great draw though like that's why i really like might in here it's just so perfect with swain's level up something they don't want to just like have a handful of mites but there's just times like that that having one mite is really really useful Playing against elusives. I want to kind of want to keep this removal. Do not want Leviathan at all. Unfortunately, we drew another one. No, you don't need to make any account to share decks. Just. Just go to your collection and click the share deck button. It'll give you a long code and you can just paste it here in chat. This is a weird hand. Not a good one. Oh man, we we've been having a lot of luck so far to get our our three wins. Hey, We were due for some non-luck. There you go, Thorwell. There, there you go. Yep, that's all I got to do. thing about that is I know that I won't, you know, like it, it takes another Sejuani out of the deck for me to, to draw. It makes it a less likely chance that we draw a Sejuani. Cool, looks like a like a pretty cool deck. I saved it. Well, 
Well, that's not good. Bow to no one. Was planning on using the Death Lotus. Do one damage to stuff. That's just wrong, right? I, I guess I'm supposed to use Elixir of Iron, not that thing, am I? I wanted to use that because like we had like this other thing to do one damage to really easily. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm supposed to use that. Um damage. Problem, of course, is this Windfarer Hatchling. Like if they have another Windfarer Hatchling in hand, which is what it looks like. It looks like that's what they're setting up, how they're not playing anything else. Then I'm pretty dead. setting up. Well, we had to have some bad luck. We still came kind of close to winning, even with how bad of a hand we had. The six mana double buff card? Oh, um... Uh, back to back, yeah, okay. Right, okay. Yeah, I've been. I'll. Yeah, that's. That'll just kind of give me some more information. I've, I've definitely been thinking about um, pairing Ash and Lux together. And they'll help out. I, I do like this combo. Ember Maiden Guillotine. Stuff's hand's a little slow. Maybe our deck needs one less transfusion. I don't know, because like the transfusion is it's usually like really good. Like whenever it don't get in my way. This is mercy. Whenever we get to actually cast it. Using our life total as a resource.
Let's end this. Hmm. I'll take another seven or use two cards. You know, basically, so I can use two cards to gain seven life. This is mercy. Yeah, I'd use like Blade's Edge, Death's Hand. Could kill both of these. But then this thing dies anyway. Can't take seven. I think we can take seven. It's gonna be eight, because you know, like we take another point of damage from this thing. You monster. I'll try anyone. Blade's Edge plus Guillotine. This uses my mana a lot better. Do wish we had one more mana. Saying that because then I'd be able to play another, you know, be able to play Guillotine twice and Blade's Edge, but we don't need to kill that many things. Here we go. Obviously, we wanted to draw Sejuani. We had three Sejuanis, one Leviathan. We wanted to draw the Sejuani to have. The thing about playing that is, you know, I basically was conceding the guillotine. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. The card that I'm the most worried about is Might. I'm what nightmares fear. Play this now to use my mana on this turn. I'm actually here. I love a taste of the action. We protect these woods as they protect us. Ok, 
Okay, not bad. Not bad. My gun does the talking. All right, well, I guess. Let's get a good look at you. So I can I can auction fervor kill this. Um, but then if they have if they have something that pumps it up, then I lose. If I go like this way, noxion fervor kill like a two two, they'd have to have like something that saves it plus something that does that. Or like does, plus something that pumps up the power. So it's the safer play. So let's go that route. They need something that. I guess I wouldn't have lost. Let's see, if I would have done it the other way, would I? Yeah, I guess I would still kind of lose to Might, wouldn't I? I mean, maybe not with Transfusion, though. I would have blocked here, done the three. Yeah, I guess. So I would have done it the other way, I would have lost to Might. I definitely knew about Might. Hmm. Maybe I just should have made these blocks and then not even played this Noxion Fervor, because I was only taking two. Yeah, that was just a bad Noxion Fervor. Bad Noxion Fervor. That, that was my mistake. There's no reason to cast that Noxion Fervor, was there? So yeah, that, that just cost me. Like, if I, I could have just waited... Just made those blocks let them happen. Cause yeah, I was still going to two. That that seven did not cost me that. I don't I don't regret taking that seven in the slightest. I do regret casting that Noxion Fervor. That that was just yeah, that was just undisciplined, that Noxion Fervor. I need to keep using my life total as a resource. Like I think taking the seven was the good play. But playing that fervor when my opponent didn't have lethal. Should just chump block with the Bjerg. Yeah, just do the chump block. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I think I liked Babbling Bjerg more than Wolf Rider. It was kind of awkward sometimes of like having so much top end all the time. Um, I could definitely see cutting one Leviathan for a Wolf Rider moving forward, or just getting another two or three mana card. That was something that we didn't have all the time, is just uh, two or three mana things to do. Let's see, so we have the one one drop, we have the two two drops, and we only have one three drop with the Ember Maiden. I could see playing, so I could see playing like one uh, like Crimson card. Like one crimson curator in here to have to have a fourth three drop and uh something that you know like this just creates more you know two three and four mana cards for you anyway to kind of space in there this deck felt really powerful though like we have um yeah the noxion immediately was was game yep yep that was my mistake um yeah, I mean, yep, I definitely make mistakes too. Every, yep, everyone makes mistakes. It's good to kind of recognize your mistakes and try to learn from them. Um, so yeah, I could kind of do want one more like three mana units, like one Crimson Curator. Maybe that's over the second Leviathan. It does seem like one Leviathan kills them. We we'll probably don't need the second. But just like sitting there with a lot of these games, like where I just have like this eight mana card that takes forever to play is kind of rough. But it is a super powerful eight mana card. I really, really like it. It's really powerful. But I also just want more, more units. So maybe we need a curator in here. There's a lot of these cards. Like it's it's really hard to like find the numbers on this deck. 
there's a lot of cards that are like useful but like things that you don't want like three of because like three ofs are like cards that you want every single game all the time but like we don't really always want a death lotus but it can be really useful same with blade's edge same with like curator same with you know calling strike death sand might noxion fervor guillotine all these things city breaker wolf rider if we put a wolf rider in here i do i didn't really love the second death sand either do you think that like you know like I kind of want to have 25-15, not 24-16. I do think that we had one one too many spells also. So yeah, maybe we get the Wolf Rider back in here. Get one Wolf Rider. One Curator. And then we have the one Leviathan, but we got like these Bjergs that can go fish it out of our deck. Either the Sejuani or the Leviathan. There we go. That's that's what I think that I'd want to do moving forward. Or, you know, you can play two Death's Hand, one Noxion Fervor. That's also an option. The Noxion Fervor does a great job of leveling up Swain, though. But Death's Hand also helps you level up Sejuani. So I don't know. I don't know which, which one of those is necessarily better in this deck. I think I'd go two Death's Hand, one Noxion Fervor. Yeah. Okay. We're going to cut a Fervor for a Wolf Rider and cut a Leviathan for a Curator. Cool. Cool. Alright, so there's Sejuani Swain. I, I like this deck a lot, and I think that, you know, we're still kind of messing with the numbers. I think we're getting closer and closer. Because, um, yeah, like, a lot of these cards are really useful at, at different times. So I kind of like this deck with all these one ofs and everything. I feel like we're, we're getting really close with this list. Alright, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, let me know what you think of this list. Try it out yourself. Let me know how it's going for you. Um, yeah. Do, do all those things. I'm, I'm really interested. I'm really interested to, to get some feedback, um, you know, get more information. What do y'all think of like this, this list here? Um, I know there are a lot of ones. Some people don't like a bunch of one of some people think that they just want a list with all sorts of three of so they can do the same thing all the time. But I think with this kind of mid range deck, it's better to be versatile. And it's really valuable to have these, these one of that if they're not very good, you can mulligan them. Um, but there's there's a lot of situations that come up where might is incredible like as we saw like might helped us win a game sometimes you need a noxion guillotine against like nautilus and stuff like that um and like sea monsters sometimes you need like a noxion fervor uh to help level up your your swain and respond to a removal spell help kill something else you know sometimes you need culling strike for like maokai and uh, uh <clears throat> heimerdinger and all sorts of other things like that you also still want to play like two drop into three drop, and so getting a four three drop in here with the Crimson Curator will help. Plus, the Curator can get can help you uh, create some more two three four mana cards to kind of fill in your curve other spots as well. Um, so yeah, I, I like I think I think this could could uh, work out pretty good. All right, we got two donation decks that we're going to be playing up next. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching Sejuani Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.